everyone, I'm back, it's Jenny. I just wanted to do a little talk on um, shamanism and um, what I learnt on the shamanic course that I did. So recently I did a course up in the lakes, um, a shamanic course, which was over a year period. Um, on the course we learnt about journeying, how to do journeying. We learnt about soul retrieval. Um, we learnt about general healing for journeying, all the different worlds. Yeah, we learnt about our axis mundi, how to enter the different worlds, about astral travelling, all that kind of thing. Um, soul retrieval. We learnt about storm people. We learnt about using different tools in healing and when you're doing any shamanic healing. So I just thought I'd do a little a little talk on that really. Um, so over the over the last year, that's basically what I've been doing is journeying, a lot of self development journeying. So every week, um, me and my friend who I did the course with, we've we've been doing lots of different journeys for healing. So and also when I've been doing my Reiki and other forms of energy healing, I'm finding more and more that I'm bringing in different tools, shamanic tools. Um, to use with the healing so on um, one of the, the sessions in the group we, we learned how to read energy with a feather um, which was really interesting it, it shows you if there's any intrusions or any lack of energy in the energy body so that's a really good one to to use um, we looked at using different tools back like in sound healing so we learnt how to use the rattle. A lot of it's very intuitive, where whatever you're getting, basically, um, intuitively, you'd use it. So say if I'm doing some Reiki and I feel that some of the energy is not shifting or there's a bit of energy that's stuck in the energy field and it's just not moving, sometimes I'll go over it with the rattle um, and that'll help shift it. It's really good for shifting energy, I've found that. I'll use the shaman stones, I think I did a talk on that before in one of the videos and I'll use that to ground any spiritual energies in and it just helps the clients um, remain grounded. So if you put one at the top, one of the stones at the top of the um, client and then one at the bottom, that's quite good for helping them stay in the body whilst you're doing the healing and, and bring any uh, spiritual energies in. So as for crystals, I've got that peacock ore. That's quite good for um, for cleansing all the chakras because it's got all the colours in. So that aligns, realigns the chakras and helps balance the chakras up um, and helps dissipate or transform any negative energies. It's also very good for your upper chakras for uh, bringing in any sp spiritual energies and channeling and stuff like that. That's quite good for channeling energies in. It's quite good as a Reiki stone, so um, I can use that in the healings. Or even just having it around in your uh, in in the area that you're working is good for bringing in different energies. So, um, and then also I've been using not um, on my clients platonic solids so that's really good for cleansing again and rebalancing the energies of the chakras and the energy field so if you just find out what chakras they go on and then you can pop them on all the chakras leaving for about 15 minutes and then also I've been meditating with them quite a lot they're quite powerful um, yeah, using the quartz, use that quite a lot just to magnify the energies. So when I'm doing a healing, and also we learnt about um, reading the energy with an egg, which I kind of we used to do that anyway um, when we were clearing energies. Uh, my husband used to use that one. So when he used to do his uh, negative energy cleansing. So that was good, just finding out how to read, shamanically read the egg um, after you've absorbed, absorbed all the energies um, from the energy field. You can then read it and see uh, if there's any intrusions or um, um, they've got any energy that's going to be coming in and stuff like that. So that's really interesting. And then we did um, 
a session on um, using stones for healing so they obviously help with grounding but if you place them on your body and, and whatnot they can help heal so i'm sure a lot of you know this kind of stuff already but it's just interesting to see you know what you can do um, when you're doing any raking stuff what other um, tools you can use you don't just have to use your hands alone so and then obviously i used to always use the sage anyway so for cleansing and you can read the energy with that as well so that's um, another interesting thing so if the energy goes in then you're lacking energy and if it comes out there's usually um, if it flows out around the energy body there's can be an intrusion there um, and then obviously I use Florida water I've always used that for cleansing and stuff so these are just some of the tools that you can use in your healings um, any rake your hands on healing you can add, add all these if you want you don't have to but I find that more and more, especially since I've done the shamanic course, I'm adding them into my, my healings, which is really good. So that's just a, a short video about what I've been doing over the last year and um, hopefully I'm going to be doing some short courses on tools and um, shamanic healing and grounding and all that kind of stuff, so um, you know, subtle energy healing. So those will be up on my website soon if you're interested. And I'm also going to do some more videos on crystals, on different crystals, and talk about what I've used them for.